What's up YouTube, Jay Traveling here. Today I want to give you an update on my two 3060s I have mining here on my test bench. So I switched over, I put it on Nice Hash, and it is mining on the Octu Octopus algorithm. Um, so I'll go in, I'll show you, I left the overclocks pretty much where they were at. And it's getting roughly 82 mega hatch a second. Uh, the EVGA car is getting 40, and the MSI car is getting about 42 mega hash a second. So the MSI car is performing a little bit better, which is nicer because that was the more expensive card. So I'll go in, I'll show you the rig, and then we'll do some profitability. Uh, it's going to be a quick, short video today, so stay tuned for it. So this is the rig mining on nice hash as you can see it says it's making 860 usd a day i do i don't know if that's accurate uh we'll check it in what to mine and see what you see it's getting 82.32 mega hash a second you can see right there uh and then as you can see we'll, we'll let it go for a little bit so my one car is at 50C. And this is my EVGA car, which runs a little bit hotter. If I switch it to my MSI car, it's running at 30C. So it is pretty cool in my room. I had the window open all night. So here's both. And you can see 41.8 mega hash and 40.48 mega hash a second. So the MSI car is running slightly better, and it's on the same overclock. I can probably up my MSI card slightly to get a little bit better. But I'm going to leave it where it's at right now and pretty much keep the just 42.31 mega hash a second, which is pretty good. And it's on T-Rex. So when I first started, I didn't have T-Rex on nice hash and I was getting like 30 mega hash a second out of each card. So I went into the plugins here and I scrolled down and found T-Rex and I installed it. Uh, because before, if we drop it, I was on Octopus with NB Miner here. And it was getting 28.6. That's out of my uh, MSI card. I turned Dagger Ashimoto's off because uh, you know, I could turn them off since it does profit switching. So if it became more profitable than Octopus, it would switch over. But... I turned T Rex on, and you see Kapow got 21 mega hash, and then T Rex got 40 mega hash in the benchmark. I'm not exactly sure why, maybe it's just a different strap that it uses, but it gave me 10 more mega hash a second, which made it a lot more profitable. Because even on T Rex, it was a little bit more mega hash on the MB miner, because these are with the same, same overclocks. I did turn Kapow off on this one. Uh, obviously it would use this one, but the reason was my rig kept crashing yesterday after I made my video, my rig kept crashing and crashing. It would only run for about 30 seconds and it crash again. And I diagnosed it pretty much. The power supply went bad. So I put a different power supply on it. And that's why you see my task manager open here. I wanted to check the runtime down here. So you can see it's been on for uh, like a day and a half now. So, it's mining on T-Rex. Both of them are. I just wanted to show you guys that real quick to say, if you are on nice hash and mining, try downloading T-Rex if you're on the video cards. So, let's check out what to mine now. So, if we go here over to what to mine. I have numbers plugged in already, and this is like my Kapow numbers and my Octopus numbers. Uh... Since it's on nice hash, it's not exactly doing conflux, it's just on the octopus algorithm. So if we calculate it, so the numbers are pretty much the same. So it says since I'm on nice hash, I'm generating six ninety two a day in revenue and about five ninety about six dollars a day in profit. That's why I don't exactly trust if we look at the number down there it says eight sixty one a day now. That's, I'm going to go more with this one and say that I'm going to generate over a little over $6 a day profit. Now, if you guys watch my videos a lot, you know I go a little... Uh, when it comes to this number, I, I go a little... Give myself a little bit of a cushion. I do in the wattage too, but this is actually what it reads at the wall. It was like 259 watts at the wall. So I just put 260 and then 82 mega hash a second. 
So I mean, it's still a pretty profitable rig right now. Uh, you know, even if I were to switch back to Raven Coin, I can still stay pretty profitable on it. I do have uh, a Raven Coin miner, so I could just keep Raven Coin. Uh, depending on what I want to do, I may switch it back to Raven Coin eventually. I do plan on getting one more GPU and putting it on this rig, and just having a three GPU 3060 rig. Probably keep it on Octopus. The reason I use Nice Hash right now is I don't actually have a Conflux wallet right now. Uh, I, I'll probably set one up and then just mine Conflux and be a little bit more profitable. But I didn't keep plan on keeping the coin anyway. I was going to transfer it right over to Bitcoin. And usually Nice Hash has a few wallets, but they didn't have a CFX wallet. So I just used NiceHash as a program. I know they rent the hash power out, so you, you don't always make as much. That's why this will fluctuate. Like, you can even see with Kapow, it's a little bit lower than if I were to just mine the coin. But, you know, if you're renting hash power out, you can't just can't always just charge more than what the coin's worth. So that's why you can see I'm, I'm not making as much. But if we look at, you know... On Octopus, we'll get the calculator out, and I'll see. One was, you know, I should should remember this, but we'll go in and I'll get the actual price of these cards. So, I'm getting new egg with I'm trying to a 2060 for 702. Like, who would buy that? So we're looking, I got the EVGA with the metal back plate. So it's 389 and then my other one was the triple fan. So it was 389 plus 39. So 928. So now let's go back and see exactly what I was getting. 928. Divided by, we'll say six dollars. 154. We'll divide that by three. So, and divide that by. Wait, no. Let's. Right, my calculations are way off right now. 29 plus 389. All right, that's what I paid from. 539. Plus 389. So 540 plus 390 divided by 6. So 155 days divided by 30, not 3. So I'm still looking at just over 5 months to pay off these two GPUs. And that's if it keeps staying at the rate that it's going now. Now, if I were to mine straight Octopus, it would be a little bit better. Be just under five months, probably. But, you know, not, not terrible. I, like I said, it always comes down to I can mine these for three months. And if I wanted to get, like, 30, 60 TIs, if they come back in stock, I could sell these for pretty much almost what I paid for them in this market. I could just sell them for MSRP to somebody and pretty much make that money back. But I plan on keeping these for... I, I like to keep my rigs running for at least a year before I even think about selling GPUs. And the reality is I only sold GPUs off two of my rigs so far, so I do keep them for a while. You know, I should make an Excel sheet. I'm gonna, I'll work on that later. I'll, I'll make an Excel sheet that I can just plug these numbers in. And when I do these, it'll be a little easier for me to just pull my calculator up all the time. But, you know, that's the profitability of me mining on the Octopus algorithm. Now, if I were, obviously, you saw in the calculator on whattomine.com or whattomine.com. Uh, if I were to just mine Conflux, I would make a little bit more per day off just these two GPUs. Now, it's the most profitable for it right now. It actually does very well mining it. Uh, you know, obviously, if it combined ETH, it'd be a lot better, but I only get like 22 mega hash a second out of ETH, which wouldn't be as profitable.
but still probably pretty profitable. Uh, on the 1st of April, when everyone plans on switching to Ether Mine, all the miners, uh, just for that 51 hours, I might put them on ETH and put it on Ether, uh, Ether Mines. I already have that all set up to go. So I might do it then just for that cause. But other than that, I'm going to keep it on the Octopus Network. Now, another reason I'm using NiceHash also is it'll let GPUs mine different algorithms. So when I put this back on it, uh, I took it off just for now, but I'm gonna put it back on there. It's a ten, my GTX 1070. Uh, I'm probably gonna do that later today. So then that can mine ETH while the 23060s mine on the Octopus network or algorithm. So that way I can be a little bit more profitable. Uh, but I mean, this is just sitting here on the desk right now. So I wanna put it back to work uh, I was doing pretty well with like 28 mega hash a second on ETH, so that would, should generate me a few dollars a day. So I'll get that back up and running. Um, but you know, it's pretty cold in my office right now, so that's pretty good for the GPUs. They're running pretty cool. But eventually, since summer's coming in, I might have to look at moving my test bench down into my basement where it's cooler because uh, it will get pretty hot in my office. But you know, i like to see what you guys are doing with your 3060s, what you're mining. Uh, if you're mining on Octopus or you're mining Raven or what, any other coin you might be mining, uh, what overclocks you're using, what hash rates you're getting, if I should try switching to a different coin, uh, or if you guys want me to benchmark a different coin, uh, just let me know uh, in the comments below. Thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.